What's going on, peeps? It's Wrath here, hanging out today, playing some more Watcher of Realms, and today, we're gonna take a break from the campaign. We're gonna take a break from gear raids, because we've been doing a lot of that. What I need to do today is I want to focus on my promotion raids. They've been kind of left behind as we focused on trying to get uh, Mythic gear in Raid 1, which we unlocked, which is nice. I mean, in Gear Raid 3, which we also unlocked, which is nice. Haven't really focused in 2 yet, but we'll get there, because the sets in 2 are also pretty good. Um, but... Our promotion raids are still back here at like 13. I left them there where we started having the ability to farm mythic extracts. I haven't really pushed them any further, even though my team's power should be good enough um, to push a little bit farther. The goal today is to get all of them to extreme, but I highly doubt that'll actually happen. We'll probably get everyone to 15 realistically and then probably fail extreme in a couple of cases, but that's going to be the game plan. I don't think I need to upgrade anybody for this one, so we're just going to jump into it and start pushing these. Um, I don't think they'll be too bad off rip. This is marksman, so we don't need anyone who's a ground unit other than if they're going to boost our stats. Um, so I'm going to drop you out of here and pop you in there to give Navros a little bit of a buff. We can throw, we can throw her in here. Who am I not going to need? I mean, Dolores probably won't be useful in these stages just because the way the the tiles are laid out. I don't know if we'll be able to use her very effectively, if at all. Um, so I think I'd probably... Go away. <laughs> I think I'd be better off maybe just carrying her, even though she's not that strong. Um, she's a marksman. So let's jump in here. And the defense reduction she gives isn't necessarily a bad thing if we're struggling with damage. Um, we're going to pop Edril over here on this side. I think that's probably best. I mean, I could put her in the middle to cover three tiles, which also might not be a bad idea to stack up further back on the crystal. I might just do that. That seems smarter. Having our best damage dealer cover cover three spots. That'll be that's smart. That's just good thinking. Um, I can also throw him here. I don't think he'll die. I would be shocked if this little bug managed to take him out. Although, no, he's fine. Um, maybe the next step is to get a healer down on top of this guy. These guys have quite a bit of time before they come out. Maybe I can get greedy and stack up Navros here. He'll cover three tiles this way, uh, plus he'll be able to help him out with getting rid of this dude. And I can probably... Uh, let's not get stupid. Let's not be stupid and just overcommit to... Uh... Wait, how could I do this to heal everyone? I mean, I could put you here to heal everyone, but I kind of want an actual damage unit on that tile. So we're just going to let Idril be fine. I don't think she'll get hit that often, if at all. And we'll pop Marine down here to do a little bit of damage to this guy. She doesn't hit, like, really hard or anything, but she's a four-star hero with, like, no real build going on at the moment. Um, I could... Mm, I don't think that's going to be far enough to reach. And I don't really have a great way to put another healer down. I was going to say I could put Mari down on that side. I'll put Mari down over here. Um, she's going to take some damage, but she'll be healed. It'll be okay. This side, I... I'm pretty sure Edril can handle it. I don't think, yeah. I mean, if if she goes down, we're already ruined anyway. So uh, I think we'll be okay here. We got plenty of heals. Navros' AoE is still doing really strong here in the Marksman raid, even though it is for Marksmans. Um, you may just still can contribute quite a bit here. Fighters, obviously less important. Um, but you do notice you can put a fighter on any tile in this map. There's a couple situations you would want to do that. For example, um, Ain. His ultimate ability actually gives a damage increase to everyone in range of his attack. So as crazy as it is to do, you could actually place Ain like this and have him cover someone like Navros. And when he gets his ult, you would actually be able to boost Navros' damage with Ain, even though he can't actually poke anybody or do any real damage by himself. There's also fighters that have the ability to attack air units. I don't think any epic heroes do have that ability, which is a bit of a bummer because that's really handy, but there's definitely some legendary heroes out there that will attack air units, even though they're fighters, so you can place them here. Obviously, that went pretty easy. That wasn't too bad. It gives me hope, because the power jump isn't really huge. I mean, 140 to 162 to 165, it's not a massive power jump. Um, this one's a big one. I doubt we'll be able to take that on any of them. It would be great to unlock, though, because if you'd be able to farm one thing and get all the insignias at once, mwah, super nice. Um, will that be the case, though? Probably not. All right, jump in, round two. This is stage 14, I wanna say. Do we lose a tile back here? I think we lost a tile on the back side. Um, how do I wanna do this? Do I wanna stack up back here on the crystal and then have her take care of you? These guys have quite the wait time to come out, so I can probably get away with 
I could set you here, but I, I he might die. There's a chance he dies. We'll see. Oh, he's getting attacked by two dudes. Probably should have waited until Idril got rid of at least one of them. Uh, he might be okay. There's a chance he lives through this. Not a great chance, but it's a chance. <laughs> Who are we going to throw to heal him, though? That's the question. Maybe Hollow? Hollow can reach from the back here. And that'll work. That'll keep him going. And then we can put some more damage over here. Probably should have taken and put Navros on this instead of Elucas, but it is what it is. He's already down, and we're not going to worry about it because worrying about it is a bad idea. <laughs> yes. So, Idril, I'm going to hope, can hold the right side mostly by herself. So I'm just going to run Navros here as a bit of extra damage, take care of that little bug up there, and then perhaps... Perhaps I run... Whoever goes up here is probably going to die if I don't, like, have, like actual healers on them. Those in 2x, I don't think we're going to have any issues with survivability right now. However, maybe, I mean, it's not ideal, but we'll just do it like this and we'll throw Vortex back here to keep her healed because she will die if we don't take care of her. Um, we could sacrifice some people up here to slow things down because like if Mari, I mean, good chance that Mari dies. I could also poke Ain down here, get an ult, and then boost both Navros and Elokas, but... Eh. Go ahead and pop his ult. Who's his ult? I don't know. I don't think he can reach... Oh, he can. He can actually reach all the way over to Maureen. So that's kind of handy. He could actually cover every single crystal right now. Um, that's pretty good. I definitely like that. Navros' ult is just really good because it attacks in every direction, so... That's handy. There's, there's plenty of situations where that absolutely comes in clutch. Um, but I think we're going to be okay here. I'm going to let her shoot that guy out and then pop her ult, and she can start popping out these dudes as well. Um, I guess we can go ahead and just pop his ult to give a damage boost to Elicus and What's-His-Face and Navros. Last couple enemies coming in, and I think we're good there. Not too bad. I'm not sure when the map changes up, if it's Extreme 1 or Extreme 2 that you get like a different map to handle. I want to say it's Extreme 2. I think Extreme 1 was the same thing, just slightly different. Which would be a change, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Alright, let's jump in, see what we got. It'd be so nice not have to farm blues and purples separately. God, that would be so nice. Just to have it. You know, just to have it at all times. And plus a better chance of getting the extracts. Because right now, our legendary extract game is friggin' miserable. Um, so the map does change, I guess, a little bit here. It spreads out your crystals. I hope people don't fly just down that outside ring, because that could be very annoying for me. Because um, I don't think Edril can cut I me. Mean, she technically can cover the whole map. Oh, they do. Those freaking nut sausages. Um, how are we going to handle that then? I can put her here, shooting this way, and she'll take care of all those bugs. And then I might just save up and drop Navros down here. I don't know how I like this. Hmm, I need more marksmen. I really don't have a lot of marksmen on the team right now. I'm going to run him facing this way for now. It's probably not a great idea, but it is the idea that I currently have. Good lord, Navros is going to die. He's dead. Okay, so <laughs> I didn't expect those little bugs to be dropping such serious deeps on me. Um, we're going to go ahead and pop her ult here to stay alive. And try to... Uh, Try to, you know, just not lose. <laughs> That's going to be the main goal now. Um, luckily, she's doing pretty good here with her ults. Probably going to have to drop a healer in. Um, where do I want it, though? Probably here, pointing that way. That does unlock this tile for me. I don't think Elucas can handle that lane by himself. Mm, interesting. We're going to have to kind of let it go for what it is now. I really want Navros. I'm going to put you like this and just really bank on Idril being able to handle that side. I don't have the... Come on, we got nine seconds. We got nine seconds. Can we make it to Navros? Perfect. Okay, so we're going to aim Navros this way as well to help clear that side. I think we're okay now. We're going to get some slows down on these bros so that Idril has more time to shoot them. And I think 
I think we might be good here. I'm not sure how difficult this wave actually becomes. Um, we're going to throw Ain right here to buff both Edril and Navros. If he gets an ult in time, he may not. Got some bats coming in now. Bats are kind of annoying because they have pretty high health. Um, we're going to... We might have to pop Navros here. We may not have to. We'll see. No, I think he's going to have it. He's got it. We're good. We can save on that in case we need it. You always save back an oh crap button because you never know when you're going to need it. Um, so I think we can actually pop Edril right now to take out some of these dudes. I think this is the last wave here. Um, we could even pop her to get a little bit of a freeze going down. And I think we're good. I think we've absolutely cinched this one out. Not a problem. A little bit hairy there at the start. Did not expect Navros to get absolutely just pooped on by those bugs, but he did. He got pooped on very hard. But that's Extreme 1. Now, the power jump from Extreme 1 to Extreme 2 is massive. It's like 100,000 power, um, which is nuts. It's literally over 100,000 power, and I believe the map changes again. Yes, it does. Um, so this is actually a, a pretty annoying thing. There's no way we'll be taking this down today. Don't, don't get your hopes up. We're not even going to try it because we know that's not going to work. Um, but we did unlock Extreme 1. That was the goal. And now I got to move down. Mages should be one of the easier ones for us, I'd think. Melee fighters could be tough. We do have a couple melee fighters now, but uh, we'll see. Let's jump into magic. Magic shouldn't be too difficult, I wouldn't think. Our only downside is we don't have a lot of magical, actual, like, ground unit damage dealers. Uh, we've got Navros. He should be able to cinch up most of it. I do have Salil, but she's not upgraded, so probably not going to worry too much about her. Hmm. I kind of want to have... Estrid in here just for the defense stripping. I don't think we'll necessarily need it though. We're just going to run it without her. But yeah, in a stage like this where the enemies have really high defense, Estrid would be really nice because she would obviously strip some of that defense off. Enemy coming in on the bottom first. We're going to open up with probably Navros down low. I want him to cover this line down here because if he doesn't, we're probably going to end up having someone sneak by down there. I don't want that to happen. Plus his ult, we pop it, we'll cover all the way up to that tile, and that's good. Throw this in 2x. We could put, um, like, Mari down here as well, aimed up to get a little bit of slow going on for everybody. And then we should be able to get a couple fighters down and be okay up top. If I can get Wrath down, I think we'll be fine. Um, and we can get Wrath down, so we should be good to go. Boop. And that's, that's good news. Um, a dangerous thing, if you have not used this lady yet, um, when she puts down her little crystals that blow up on the ground, it actually blocks that tile from being used for your heroes. Um, so if you put her down like right here to put a bunch of ice crystals out, she would actually stop this spot from being used by Ain. I'm not going to worry about it, because I can afford both. So I'm going to go ahead and put him down. And I'm going to put her down here, just because she can get me a little frost crystal right there in front of Navros, in case he gets kind of swarmed. This will be nice. Uh, but she's actually a pretty solid little crowd control unit. Um, looks like Navros is doing just what I wanted him to. He's taking care of this all by himself. Um, yeah, little freeze, not bad. I think her freeze does get longer in duration or do more damage or something later on. But for now, being that she's just like thrown in here for funsies, she has a huge attack range, by the way. Um, she's pretty solid. So I could slow people more up top. I don't really feel like I need to. I'm going to throw Voltus up here, even though he's not, like, well-built right now. He's actually hitting pretty hard. I must have decentish gear on him. 11,000 crits. Not terrible for him, being that he's only awake, like, promoted four times. Hey, it's not bad. He's actually contributing to the team. Good job. Here I was thinking we weren't going to need you anymore. Oh, I forgot how many enemies were in these waves. Good lord, 66 dudes to take down? Come on, game. That's way too many dudes. Oop. Pop you down like this, I guess get some early damage on whoever comes in on that side. Wrath still absolutely duking on people. I think we're okay here. I don't really think I'm going to need any healers. The only time you'll need a healer is if a, one of these big dudes actually make it all the way down to a ground unit. Uh, but right now they haven't, so we're okay. I could pop Idril's ult here, but you can see she doesn't really hit all that hard on these people. I think we're okay. Yeah, Voltus is doing pretty decent. He's actually not a bad hero. His basic attack bouncing like that is really nice. We did unlock Greed today, too. I forgot. We snagged him out of the daily sign-in today. So we do have Greed to build. And Greed is a really good hero. I mean, you got absolutely buttloads of enemies popping in right now. So we're just going to go ahead and pop some ults here. Get people zapping and shooting out birds and whatnot. And we should be all right. Last four enemies. Last three enemies. Navros just absolutely dookied on, too. And there we go. Not too bad. Definitely takes a little longer because of all the enemies here. 
Uh, but yeah, we do have Greed now, and he's a really good AoE mage, so definitely could be somebody to build. Probably will end up building him for sure, because I'll need him. If nothing else, you can almost use everything in the faction trial, so if it has a faction, probably worth building just for that area of the game. Um, but should be able to handle stage 15. That one went down pretty easily. I wasn't too worried about it. We may have to drop somebody. I didn't use you at all in this, so I'll bring Estrid just as a person to throw on that bottom line, as long as I can keep putting someone down there, just in case a big bro decides to sneak through. So I don't really want them to do that. That would hurt me a little bit. Gonna keep things the same. If things are working, there's no read to, you know, don't change them up, because you can just cause yourself problems and start losing things you weren't losing before. Boop. So we'll do like this. Can't remember how much attack speed I've got on you right now, but that's mainly what I want Mari for, attack speed. I don't really build her for damage. She has like 100 damage right now. Her attack is absolute dookie. Um, and it's supposed to be dookie for me. I don't want it to be really high. Um, if I had gear to get both crazy attack speed and crazy damage, I'd have it on her. But when I have to choose between one or the other, I'm going attack speed. Get her to slow things down as fast as possible, and then I'm happy. Um, so we actually cannot even put a person on this bottom rank right now, which is going to be a little interesting. This means for me, probably, I'm going to put her here to cover more tiles on this bottom area, just in case people do start trying to sneak by. They'll have a lot more freezing areas to get through. Um, so this should help that. Yeah, that's gonna help that a lot. We'll get Voltus back up top, because he actually did pretty decent. Um, he's not hitting quite as hard now, but as their defense goes up, he's gonna get less and less useful, um, just because his flat attack isn't that high. So where do we want, I guess we can put Edril down here as well. Doesn't really matter. We'll put her up here to help on this top line that Navros isn't covering unless we're ulting. She can still attack the whole map anyway, but I figure this area being so congealed with ice crystals, they shouldn't be able to make it very far. If they're not frozen, they're going to be getting slowed, um, so we should be all right. Now, she doesn't do a crazy amount of damage here, only like 5k per attack, um, you know, 3 plus 2, whatever she's doing with double attacks, but I mean, it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. It's helping because they don't have tons of HP yet. How much is Wrath doing on these guys, by the way? Is he going to get a chance to... No, he's not going to get a chance to hit anybody. <laughs> like, how much are you actually doing right now? Because they do have high physical defense, so... I mean, looks like we're doing all right. How much damage is your Ice Crystals doing? 7,900. That's not bad for being up. Are you still four star? I think she still is. I haven't even taken her to five yet. Um, but her damage can get pretty nuts because the way... Uh, how's it? Man, it just doesn't really tell you much about it. You can look at her skills later. Um, and it'll tell you, like, she gets huge amounts of, like, attack percent bonuses to her crystal bombs, especially when they're enhanced. So, I mean, she can hit, like, absolutely stupid numbers. Um, but also that freeze is just really, really nice. Because, like, no one's even gotten this far because every time they walk up here, they're stopped, they're stopped, they're slowed, they're dead. And it just works. We're gonna go ahead and pop Navros here. I believe this is gonna be the final wave. So we might as well get everybody going. And everybody is 18,000. That's still pretty good for them being heavy defense units. Last bro coming in now. Last bro going out now. There we go. That wasn't extreme, was it? That was 15, right? I feel like that was 15. Did we do that faster than the last time? We might have. Yeah, that was 15. So we got extreme one coming up. I'm not sure what the map change looks like for extreme one, but we will know very shortly. But yeah, being able to farm the max amount of these legendary uh, insignias is definitely nice, but also just a better drop rate on those is really what I'm looking for. So we're going to jump in here. I don't think the map will change too much. If it does, I'll be like whoopsie doodles, but we'll probably be all right. So the map does change pretty substantially. <laughs> now we want to run this. I want Navros, I think, in this area to cover both the bottom place and the top. I do kind of want to see where I can place ground units. If I can't place ground units down here, we could be in trouble. If I can, we shouldn't be in trouble. Um, boop. So we cannot place ground units on the bottom. That's good to know. So I'm going to stick with Mari doing the same thing she did before and putting her like this to slow things down and hoping Navros can take care of this. Mm, this could get sketchy. This could get real sketchy in a real quick manner. Um, so up top, I'm going to go ahead and put Wrath in like I did last time because that just works. Like so. We'll put Ain behind him just in case. A little extra block if things start. Actually, you know what? Screw Ain. Ain's not going in. Estrid, you're going in because I like you and you're cool. And you have AoE damage, and I need that right now. Maybe, probably. They do swarm us with lots of dudes here. Edril, I'm going to hold off on. I'm going to try to get Voltus out a little earlier. I'm going to pop him probably right up here. 
to get as early damage as possible, even though it probably won't be much. That's not, that's not bad. He's doing pretty decent. I shouldn't talk crap on Voltus, even though I have really neglected the absolute poopage out of him. He's still here, he's still showing up for work, and he's putting in work. So there we go, we'll pop her down here to get a lot of ice crystals on this part here. Then we'll probably just stack uh, Idril up here on top. I can actually probably just stack her right here. We get some damage out on this little top row that comes in, because that's going to be our weakest line. Um, this bottom part should be cut four big bros. Maybe I've made a grievous error in judgment. Perhaps... My judgment errors have been grievous. I'm going to throw Hollow here. Um, oops, wrong person. Not because I need her heals, but because I want her rage regen for Navros in case I need to pop a lot of ults. Let's go ahead and just pop his thing here. Start zapping some dudes. Oh yeah, we're doing good. Um, ideally, you'd have like Navros or Greed or someone up here that hits a lot harder and a little bit better. Uh, but we really need to cover this line down here, so I feel like I like Navros in this spot just a little bit more. Um, plus his ult will still cover the top and the bottom. Just a good spot for him to be in. There, oh, there's less enemies in this wave. This is actually easier than the one before it. That doesn't make a lot of sense, but okay. Um, pop his ult here, get some stuff going in, do that. Those guys got absolutely decimated. I don't think Estrid's even gonna get to attack. Why is the extreme version so much easier with less enemies than the hard version? Or, I guess, the regular stage 15. I don't know, but I'll take it. That wasn't bad at all. The fastest clearing time, I think, of all the three we did. Um, so that's nice. There we go. Mages up to extreme one. We could try extreme two on mages. I feel like we'll absolutely get decimated. What's the map look like? We only have one crystal to defend? You know what? For the sake of funsies... Ah, who... <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> We're gonna try it. Statistical likelihood here is we get absolutely bent over and spanked, um, but there's also a, a chance we don't. There's a chance we don't get bent over and spanked. I'm going to throw Navros in like this because I feel like he's going to be very good to cover this intersection. We have one crystal to defend, so that makes things a lot easier, um, or potentially easier, probably not going to actually be any easier. Um, how many ground units can we place? One. Interesting. We're gonna trust it to Wrath. Estrid's defense removal would probably be ideal here. Um, so far? Oh my gosh, 4,000 damage. <laughs> That's not good. That is bad. Um, let's pop her down here to get some slows right in front of Navros. Hopefully Navros can carry us through this. I don't know if he actually will be able to. Um, we're gonna get Voltus down here up top. Just to get some bounce damage on these guys, even though it's not a whole lot of bounce damage. Navros doing okay, kind of clearing that out for me. We got 62 enemies to take out, though. That's a lot of dudes. That is a freakish amount of the dudages. Um, how do we want to place her? This might be the best way to place her, just to kind of slow things down a little bit. Um, yeah, I feel like that's pretty decent. We have too many ground units, unfortunately, which is not going to help us that much. Um, I'm going to just put Idril right here. She 300 damage. As you can see, absolutely doing not poo-poo at all. Um, this is all magic damage, so... Yeah, maybe Wrath wasn't the greatest choice here. I am going to throw Hollow probably right here. Or do I want to throw her here and aimed up? That way she'll heal Wrath. I'm going to probably end up throwing Vortex down as well to double heal Wrath. Just because if he gets hit, he might actually just get one tapped by those dudes. They hit really freaking hard. Um, go ahead and pop his ult, get some zappings going on. Navros doing a great job helping clear this top. I could pop his ult right now. I'm not going to. If I have to, I will pop her um, to kind of slow the enemies from getting through. It's looking like I might have to do it. I'm not doing I'm holding off. I'm absolutely holding off, and it's probably a terrible idea. Oh, that slow is just so big. Man, Mari is just absolutely clutching it up right now. That was huge. Um, so we do still have our freeze available, which is awesome. And we're probably going to pop it in a right now kind of moment. And then we're going to pop your ult, get you rolling, try to take these per people out, pop your ult to get some heals. We could be in absolute dookie town. I'm feeling like Dookie Town is a real place that we live in. Oh, we are going to get absolutely rinsed. We're going to get rinsed. Ay. Oh, they made it through. Okay, there's just way too many people for just Navros. We did pretty, I'd say, valiant effort. 
valiant effort on that one. We came close-ish. If I upgrade greed, I think we could have that one done. Um, but yeah, nobody, our, our magic damage really comes from one person right now, and that stage is all about magic damage. Watching Wrath's damage drop from like 30, 40,000 to 4,000 shows you how high that defense goes. Um, so even though he has high attack and high crit, that their defense is just insane. Um, but we gave it a shot. I feel like that's something we can actually end up beating relatively soon, um, so that'll be nice. Jump into Endurance now. We're going to take this. Hopefully our healers are up to par. I think we should be okay. Healers are pretty decent. They're not like 6 star or anything, but they're okay. Who do I want to run here? Um, I probably won't use... I mean, I'm Aim's not bad. I'm, I'm going to say it. He's not bad. The downside is he's just not that great anymore because I haven't invested him a ton. I just feel like her AoE is just more useful in most cases. Um, and her defense reduction just means she kind of hangs in there longer than Ain is gonna. So 300,000 power, that's <laughs> not bad, team. But how are we gonna run this? I can run Wrath up top to take care of this crystal, and I think he will have this for the entirety of the game and have no issues. And then we'll throw a healer. <clears throat> Probably... Probably... Oh, why didn't you one-tap that dude? That's kind of crazy. Um, just right here to cover these two pedestals and this. And then hopefully we'll be good. I don't know. We'll see. Down here we're going to throw... I would assume we're going to throw Estrid. Like this. She should be alright. She does block three because I still have Lunacy Visor on her. Um, which is kind of nice for stuff like this in case she can't take care of enemies fast enough. Um, she does still block three people instead of just two, which for a fighter is kind of a nice deal. Sometimes it just gets them killed because they're blocking too many enemies and they can't take them down. Um, but hopefully that's not the case here. So pretty good chops coming in from those dudes. I am going to go ahead and throw Livian down. She should be in range of both healers. She'll get some stuns for us. And then we'll pop Navros down here on Estrid's side. She's going to cover, or he's going to cover the middle and the bottom area, which should help quite a bit. And then... I guess we'll throw Eadril up top just to get some extra damage out on these guys. And I think we're set. I don't think we'll have to worry too much about anything else. I think people are just going to go down now. I still have a couple slots open if I wanted to put people down. I still have both of these pedestals that are covered by heals. Um, and I guess I could put things down there. The only thing I would worry about potentially is it overextending the amount of heals your healers have to do and then someone gets a little bit too damaged, and then someone comes in and, like, smacks them once really hard and does, like, everything to them and they die. But I don't think it's going to be an issue here. Let's go ahead and pop her ult, get her sniping all the way across the map, taking some dudes out, take some more dudes out, take another dude out, maybe? Pretty much. Wrath helped, but there we go. That's 31 out of 31. Not, not too bad. Pretty easy. I wouldn't say that was, a, a, that was hairy at all, but I can easily see a world in which... My wrath starts taking some uh, some damage, and that would be dangerous. You'll be okay. We'll definitely make it stage 15, and I would love to see Extreme 1 go down, but that one could be tougher because if I remember correctly, man, it might be Extreme 2 I'm thinking about. Like it was a it was a kind of a tight window to get my dudes out um, to do the damage there without like dying and having things sneak past. So we're gonna do the same thing as before. Wrath up top, um, get a healer down on him. Gonna keep it as hollow just because. I can't believe these bugs, or bugs, these mice have so much HPs. I mean, that one got one tap, but 30,000 HP for a mouse? It's a freaking powerful mouse, bro. Estrid might be a little bit questionable, I will say. Um, well, that double attack in a row is just, that's so nice. Yeah, her health is is in danger-ish area, but it's not too bad. It's, it's still enough we got time to get the healer out. I'm not sure what Extreme 1 does to change like the uh, the difficulty because sometimes they'll like they'll add like extra defense to the enemies or something like that because even though the power is like still the same they change something up to make it more tough except for apparently on what was it with the mages that the, the extreme was just way easier i think they did have more defense on the units in the extreme but there was just less enemies and easier to cover so i guess we're obviously going to put livian down so no one sneaks through on us that would be Obviously not ideal. I don't think we'll have an issue by pulling that off. But I guess, man, do I want to slow people down? Not really. It just makes the wave take longer. Let's let them get here as fast as they possibly can. And then we'll just murk them as they're doing it. Boop. 
And then I guess we can pop your ult as well, just to get some early damage on these guys. Should be okay. I guess I could have brought, like, Dolores or somebody in um, to do an attack boost on these dudes. Obviously, I didn't do that. Um, but it is an option. Last few enemies coming in now. Looks like they're going down pretty easily. That dude didn't even make it to Wrath. Eagle just sniped him out. And there it is. So stage, that was 15, right? That was an extreme. Stage 15 done. It is taking quite a bit of time to get these done. I figured it would, but that's why I wanted to kind of clump them all together and not like do any campaign or anything. Because I figured if I did campaign first, there's no way in crap we're making it through all the promotion raids that we need to do. Um, so we're going to try Extreme 1, just because it's not too much of a power jump over 15. If we can beat 15, hopefully we can beat Extreme 1. Hmm. So we got two crystals to defend here. It doesn't look too terribly bad. Um, yeah, I think, I think we'll just leave things how they are. I don't think I need to change up who I'm bringing in. This one will be kind of an annoying crystal because we can have people sneak in both sides. Looks like everyone's going to be coming in from this top side first. Ooh, we can't even fully block that side. Hmm. That makes it a little more difficult. Um, but not too bad. I think we can place... How do I want to do this? We've got four ground units to place, which is good. I'm going to place Wrath here and hope he can take out these dogs before anyone sneaks past him. I'm going to kind of watch this in slow motion to make sure I don't put people down at the wrong time. I'm going to need you to take one of these out. Perfect. That gets the block up. We're good. Um, that's the danger of having three enemies at once on a fighter, is if you don't kill one fast enough, one will sneak past you. And um, we are absolutely going to have to throw in a healer. Um, we are going to put... I'm going to put Hollow right here aimed this way, because she will cover these squares as well. Now we're going to wait and see. So someone's coming in on this side. Hopefully I can get Estrid down fast enough. <clears throat> Looks like we should be able to. I'm going to let Estrid hold this one maybe by herself and then put Livian and Ain on the other side um, to cover that far one. She's going to be getting healed. Should be fine. Plus, she has the Lunacy Visor, so she does block three units instead of two. Um, and that should keep her from getting overwhelmed um, by enemies. Looking okay so far. Pop this in 2x, get a little bit more cost built up, see where enemies are going to come in from, and then we'll decide our next motion. So that's still pretty tight right there. I could throw some damage down on him just to make sure like no one blitzes through. We got our dude come in on this side over here. I could start off with Ayn and I think I will. And then we can throw a uh, Livian in if we need her where we need her. And um, we are going to pop a healer down probably like this or perhaps like this. That's probably the... It doesn't really matter, I don't think. Um, but that'll give us access to a couple pedestals here if I want to put someone like you in to help Ain out because these guys do hit pretty hard. Um, so having a little extra damage on that side is going to be nice. And I'll probably put Navros right here um, just to kind of help Wrath out in case he does get swarmed. I could put a freezing unit <clears throat> like Mari or Elukas in one of these spots to slow things down. I'm going to go ahead and put this back in 2x, though. I think we've got enough heals to keep everything going the way it should. And you know what? I think I am going to put her here just because. And I can always pop their ults, because when you pop Hollow's ult, she does heal two people at a time, which is nice. Um, very nice for things like the Drake's Chasm, because sometimes um, healing two people at once is very important. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Having some extra damage here, a little extra slow. Going to keep Wrath from probably having people sneak through him and get to the crystal. Got a big bro coming up top. Hopefully, Ain can survive a punch. Doesn't need to survive a punch. That's good. Got three big bros coming in. Navros absolutely just rinsing those dudes. Not even a problem. Hollow's got a lot of people to heal by herself right now, but she's doing a good job of it. Haven't had to worry too much about anyone getting too close to dying. I can pop her ult again. Get those double heals going. She's getting her ult back incredibly fast. I wonder if that tick damage is also refilling rage. It might be. That damage per second that we're taking just giving you like... Some rage regen? I don't know. There we go. That was actually not bad at all. I'm not going to try that one on extreme because I know how tough and tight that is. I don't think we're going to make it. I'm like 92% sure we wouldn't make it. But extreme one down for the third time. There we go. And then now we're going to jump into this one. This is where we were, we were actually behind before. I haven't tried this stage since we got Estrid. I'm thinking with Estrid, we'll be okay. If we're not, I would be sad. 
Um, never mind, we do have Astrid in here. I could be a liar who lies about things. There are no platform tiles anymore, so anything that's not a ground-based unit is essentially wasted here. There's really nothing I can do. I mean, I could throw in someone like this as just a, a stop gap, like, oh crap, don't get through my line. Not gonna worry about it. We're just gonna roll with what we got. And I gotta remember how I'm gonna set my dudes up here. Um, I definitely want Ain. How do I want this? I think I'm gonna let Ain pokey pokey by himself. Because he should get rid of someone like that pretty easy. And then I'm probably going to run Estrid right here to cover for Ain. Because she has AoE damage, so if someone does slip past him, she'll be able to hit that person as well. And we should get Wrath in time that I can aim him up like this to take care of that guy and also anyone that runs into him. Um, he does only have the two block, but he is like one tapping dudes right now, so it's not too big of an issue. And then we're going to throw in Livian right here to get stuns with her shield bounce tank a little bit. Ain's my weakness, so I might actually throw Borat behind him just to potentially slow, like, the advance of dudes. So I feel like with Livian and with Wrath here, we should have enough stuns to take everyone down fast enough, which should be, should be okay. Um, I'm just mainly worried that Ain won't have enough damage and people will start walking past him. Um, Estrid does block three, so that's nice. Plus, she has pretty good AoE damage when I pop her ult. So if we start getting flooded, she should be okay for that. Yeah, we're doing okay. This will be the big test. This is where they start pumping out tons of dudes at you. I think these guys walk forward and then more come out. Um, we're going to wait a second to pop any ults. I want to get to more of a, a dangerous time before I do that. So I believe those are like the last, like, what is that? That's like a lot of dudes, like 12 dudes. Ain's blocking too, but as you can see, Ain's not taking guys down very quickly. Um, he's kind of falling off a little bit. We're going to go ahead and pop his ult to get some damage out, and we're going to go ahead and pop her ult to get some AoE swings to start doing damage to everyone. And that's absolutely doing work. She just cleaved the living absolute crap out of those dudes. That's disgusting. Ugh, Estra is just a freak, man. <laughs> Such a good unit. Glad we snagged her out of that shop. That was a, that was a game changer for us. That's really helped in a lot of situations. Um, so there we go. Stage 13 down. We do have a little bit more ground to make up here. I'm hoping we can make it to extreme, but if I had a doubt about one of our teams making it, it would be melee fighters right now. Um, or it's got some gear on him, but it's only a four star. Ain't, Ain's okay, uh, but without support from like Navros for all the AOE we have to deal with, I'm a little bit worried. I would put Ain facing down to poke those two guys out early. Um, the reason I don't want to do that is because he needs to poke things early coming in this way or they will swarm him. So I need to get his damage out on those people as quick as possible. I am going to put you down right here. I don't need to. Actually, a smarter play is just go ahead and cover this. I think the next enemy comes in from the bottom. Um, we'll go ahead and smoke that out and then we'll pop Estrid up top. Keep things the same. Don't change it up if it's working. And we should be all right. Man, that... Two times attack is just disgusting. She is just so freaking good. I can't wait to get her six star promoted six times and like actually like built up like crazy with good gear. She's gonna be freaking nasty. You know what I'm saying? Just absolutely nasty. I could, I guess, bring that little other tank in behind Wrath in case we will start to like flood us. Um, for now, as long as he can take, okay, we should be all right. Yeah, cause she'll block three, plus she does a lot of stunning for us, which is nice. Those stuns are huge. Just buying you a little bit extra time for your fighters to get that damage out. It's a big deal. Um, Livian is just a really good tank for this. We don't have Oleg yet because I have been neglecting the Void Rift, the final stage. Um, I think we're on phase three right now. Or, no, we've beat phase one of Prologue 2, so we've got to do phase two and three. That'll get us Olog, which will be really nice. Another really solid tank. And I can always throw him in some of these like little dead zones if I get worried about it and he will absolutely stop the crap out of people. Nobody gets past the Great Wall of Olag. Nobody. <laughs> so when we get him, we'll have a really good tank. So that'd be another, I mean, Livian's obviously a really good tank too, but she's more of like a, a utility tank because she can stun. I have absolutely forgot that I'm supposed to be popping ults and like actually paying attention. <laughs> that dude almost snuck past Ain there. Um, but we should be okay. I think we'll be all right now. <laughs> got sketchy, got too busy talking and not enough thinking. My brain only works in one way at a time. So there we go, that was stage 14, 
I believe. So we still got two left to go. Video's gonna run a little long this time, but we have a lot of content to get through today. And I wanna make sure I'm able to farm the highest possible promotion raid that I can to give me better chances at, especially legendary. Sadly, I have more of these than I do of these. <laughs> That's just not okay. That's not okay at all. So stage 15 shouldn't be too much of an issue. I guess I could just drop like these units that don't actually do anything here. So I have a more realistic level of my battle power. Um, it's hard. It's a hard one, but we managed to make it work last time. I'm going to bring you in this time, not because you'll actually probably do anything, but potentially I can throw her behind Wrath, and if she stops somebody for like a second that might have otherwise made it through, that would be enough for me. Go ahead and get Ain Pokey Pokey in. He's just not very strong right now. I mean, he's taking care of business, but He's he's my weak link. He's the one I'm worried about. I'm not worried about Estrid. I'm not worried about Wrath. I'm not worried about Livian. I'm worried about Ain. I think Ain's just gonna get rinsed, and when he gets rinsed, I mean honestly, Estrid might be able to cover that for him with her ult, and we still might actually win. Um, but we don't know that. You know that's that's playing with fire. So we're gonna pop everyone in the same way, even though it's rated H for hard. Um, we should be we should be okay. The power jump between extreme and ooh. Guy was taking some damage, didn't even get crits on Wrath, and that's kind of rare because he has a pretty high crit chance. So far, everything's looking good. We're going to go ahead and pop this guy up here as a little stopgap. And I can hold off on this lady in case I see, like, a potential problem arising. I can throw her out really fast as, like, an oh, no, please don't run past me kind of moment. Um, but... So far, it's looking all right. We're, this is where we're going to get in trouble. I need to pay attention and pop my ults at a wise time. If I don't, we will likely decease and no longer exist to be alive. And that's never a good thing. Hopefully, if people do start sneaking past Ain, this guy will be enough to stop for at least one nanosecond. I would assume he'll probably die in like one punch. Um, so let's go ahead, pop Ain. Yep, yep, yep. Pop Estrid, start getting some AoE out there, wiping out these dudes. Dudes are getting wiped. Dudes are getting absolutely rinsed right now. I don't think we're going to even need... Yeah, we're not even going to need this little blue chick down here. Freaking nice. Dude, this chick right here, I want to see the damage that she put out. I mean, Wrath might have outdamaged her. I'm not going to say he didn't. He does cover two lanes the whole time. But, man, her ult is just disgusting. She didn't do that much as Ain. What the poop nuggets? Ain, you're better than I thought him. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Um, but she came in clutch when it mattered, right? She's hitting a lot of dudes when they could potentially sneak by and hard copium. She's good, okay? <laughs> Get over it. She's amazing. So that was stage 15. Was that 15? That was 15. And now we get to do extreme. I'm not sure how the map changes for extreme. It's still very hard. Looks like the exact same map. Um, pretty much. I don't really notice a difference. There's still four crystals to defend. We've got dudes. Um, how is it going to change where we can... Oh, no. It changes where we can place our dudes. Well, I don't like that. I don't like that one little bit. This could take thoughts and brains. I have none of those things. Hmm. <sighs> Let me think. People will end up walking past you. A hundred percent chance that happens. For sure. <laughs> I'm struggling with my brain here on where I'm going to do things and how I'm going to do things. I guess we've got to rely on Ain, but I feel like he is going to 100% let a feller down, and I'm going to be very sad that I believed in him and trusted him as hard as I did. Um, we might have to throw some sacrificial scapegoats out. I'm going to place him here, and I'm not even going to worry about attacking that guy. I'm going to aim him down, maybe? But aim him up. Or down. I'm going to aim him down. I'm going to put Livian right here to block that. We have a dude coming down this lane right here in the middle, so we are going to absolutely have to put you down to start poking this guy. Hopefully you can take... Well, you do block three. So even though he's in front of you, I don't know if he actually counts as blocking yet because he's not moving. But so far, so good. We'll get Livian in here. 
and like I said, I might have to throw these guys down to block two people for like a nanosecond. Um, just like up here, if someone's gonna swarm in or something, I might just throw those down as, you know, they're just gonna they're gonna die 100%. They're not gonna survive that. Um, but they could stop people, like, cause holy crap, that's a lot of dudes. That is a lot of freaking dudes. Wrath, do I need to pop an ult here? It's looking like no. It's looking like we're doing fine. Don't panic. There's no need to panic when you don't need to panic, so don't panic. Doing all right. Did Ain just poke down at that person? Ain, you're cheating. Um, it's okay. I'm gonna pop Ain just as a, a little safety precaution. There's four dudes coming in up top, and I don't want to pop her ult just for those few people. Make sure he gets those guys stopped. That could come back and bite us in the anus later. Hopefully it does not. 30 out of 60. Holy crap. The number of dudes coming our way is absolutely massive. We're going to get Estrid to do some ulting. Hopefully take care of some dudes. Dudes are getting taken care of. We still got a lot of dudes to come in. If they bring them in slowly, we might be all right. Um, I'm going to pop this guy down right here to slow down this top line because Ain is not going to be able to get through this guy in time. I'm going to save up. Oh man, we don't have the ults. We don't have the ults. We need them. Ain, you need your ult. Ain's got his ult. No, someone's sneaking past. Oh, got stunned. No, he snuck past you freaking turd monkey. Ah, it was just a hair short on my ult there. That hurts me. That hurts me. I guess I could have maybe blocked a little bit there. That was on me. I feel like we can absolutely three-star that one. <clears throat> that was just one dude snuck past at a bad time. I think we got it. I'm not going to run it back just because it takes forever to run back. But I might just do that one kind of on my own just because, oh, yay, we got a thing. Nice. Um, but I feel like for sure I could three that one. That was just, I got overwhelmed. My brain shut off. I didn't put my blocker in when I should have. I had another unit. I could have easily stopped someone from getting to Estrid in time and we would have been okay there. Just didn't think about it. But there we go. Promotion raid. Everyone's up to extreme now. Uh, melee fighters, I can obviously do that on my own time. Finish that one out. But big progress. Big progress. Much easier now to get my extracts and my insignias to level dudes up. But there we go, guys. Stop giving me things to look at. Stop giving me things to look at. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget, smash that thumbs up button to show your support. And I will see you guys in the next one.